Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the fifth annual Brian Mickelson Memorial Run 2013. It's brought to you by the City of Cottonwood Parks and Rec and Verde Valley Television. Uh, again, this is the fifth annual. In 1992, it originally started as the Verde Mingus uh, blowout and ran that way for over 17 years. Uh, when we lost Brian Mickelson, who was an avid runner, it was renamed after him. Last year, the first full marathon was introduced. Uh, so this is the second year of the first uh, of the full marathon, and we've got many returning runners. So we're kind of excited to see uh, how well the run goes. Lots going on. We're we're about to get underway with the opening ceremonies, and let's go down to the starting line. Good morning, everyone. We welcome you to the fifth annual Brian Mickelson Memorial Run. This is the second year we had the marathon. We really appreciate you taking part in the marathon. Last year, we were a bit worried about our course because it was the first year. This year, we're confident you're going to love it because we got nothing but positive feedback. It's a beautiful course. We hope you enjoy it. I know it's a little chilly right now, but once that sun comes up, it will get warm. So you make sure you hydrate. At this point, I'd like to have the marathon runners start gathering up here. Remember, we'll have the competitive runners up front. Come on up, folks. And you know, folks, anyone who is involved with the running community, whether it's volunteers, um, timekeepers, and of course the runners themselves, belong to a community that defies geographical barriers. And I know that like me, many of you were affected by the events this week that happened in Boston at the Boston Marathon. And I have worn my hat to honor those people today. And I really would like to have everybody keep those people in our thoughts, and I would like to ask, let's have a minute of silence and send some good energy to the folks in Boston. Everybody just for a minute. Okay, thank you. And the good news is, they did catch the guys that did it. And again, those kind of things just bring us together. They remind us of all the things we have in common. And we really appreciate you folks again coming up here to participate in the run. How many people are here from out of town? Well, welcome to Cottonwood, Arizona, the coolest city in Arizona. We really like having you. We hope that you have time after the race to look around our city a little bit. A great place to start is if you pull on Main Street, you take a right, and you go down to Old Town Cottonwood. We've really developed our city, and it's, we're just really proud of it. How many people are here for the first time? And how far away did you come from? All right, welcome. At this point, I would like to introduce Carrie. She is going to sing our national anthem. Carrie?
broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched we're so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still Thank you so much. I, I now see why they asked her to sing and not me. Um, very good job. Thank you, Carrie. Um, again, folks, we ask you to start gathering up here. We will be taking off in less than 12 minutes. Competitive runners to the front. You know, this is a great event, and it honors a man that was one of the most beloved people in Cottonwood and the Verde Valley. And it's a way to keep his memory alive. And I think as much as everyone loved him, he loved the city. The bee on my hat could be symbolized for him, too. Brian Mickelson, for who our run is made. Brian was our city manager. He was a runner himself. And again, like I said, he was just a beloved man, and he loved the city. And he would love this event. To tell us a little more about who Brian was and how much he meant to the area, I'd like to introduce Gail Mayberry. She's the city manager of our neighboring town, Clarkdale. And we suggest if you have time to visit there too today. Gail? Thanks, Terrence. Good morning. Thank you, Terrence. It's my great honor to be here this morning. As Terrence said, Brian was just a really loved member of this community. He was a great colleague and a personal friend of mine. So it's great to get up here and speak a little bit about him. This event is one that I always come to with a little bit of mixed emotion because I'd certainly rather have Brian standing here today and seeing all of you gathered for this race, he would be so, so pleased. But as we've all seen this week, for sure, with the events in Boston and in Texas, life can change in an instant. And that's what happened back in 2007 when Brian passed away, when he was out on a training run training for a half marathon, just like you folks have spent a lot, time, a lot of time doing this year. His, uh, his legacy is so important, not only to his family, his wife Lynn is standing up here with us, his sons Dane and Kai couldn't be here today, but it's probably the first one that they've both missed. Um, they're both out of state today. But I want to tell you a little bit about Brian before you get ready to head out on your run. First and foremost, I hope those of you that are new to the event that you'll take the time as you're out there to look around and enjoy the beauty of this course. It is absolutely stunning. And I think you'll see a little bit of what Brian saw when he first came to the Verde Valley. He came here, he spent many years here and he left an indelible mark on this community. As Terrence said, he was a long time city manager here in Cottonwood. He held other roles with the city as well. He was a really dedicated public servant, not only in his role for the city, but in many other things that he did. And he left his fingerprints all over this community, this beautiful riverfront park, the soccer fields, the sports facilities. Some of you may have visited the Cottonwood Recreation Center, which you may have noticed is on Brian Mickelson Parkway. You've seen his dedication plaque there. That recreation center was a big part of Brian's vision for this community. And he really didn't only make a, an impact on the local community. He left an impact statewide as well. He was recognized as a servant leader all over the state. So much so that the Arizona Department of Housing in 2007 
named an award after Brian that's given every year. It's called the Brian Mickelson Housing Heroes Award because of the efforts that he led the state in as a member of the Arizona Department of Housing Board. I noted that it wasn't just his work with the city. Brian was also a member of the Kiwanis for 23 years. He did many, many community service projects in the Verde Valley with the Kiwanis. And if there was a sport to be played in Cottonwood, there's probably people here that either played with Brian or was coached by Brian. Didn't matter what the sport, he was into it. And he was a serious competitor, but also a model sportsman. And anyone that either played against him or with him, worked with him, was around him, respected him, even those who competed against him. Now I know if Brian were here today, he'd be thinking, time to stop talking, Gail. These folks came here to run. He'd also say, that's so cool, looking out over all of you folks in a little bit of a Minnesota accent. He'd also want you guys to get ready to get out there and run. So I want to wish you good luck on the course, leave you with one final thought, and that's just a thought about running and life. And both in running and life, you have to keep moving forward. So try not to let the hills out there get you down, and don't enjoy, don't forget to enjoy the beauty along the course. Good luck today, and as you're running, think a little bit about the man that's named for this race. He made a great mark on this community, and think about ways that you can make a mark on your own communities. Thank you. Thank you, Gail. Okay, folks, again, we'd like to have you start gathering up front here, the competitor, competitive runners in the front. As you run, you will follow the pink arrows and the white flags on Sycamore Canyon Road. The route is the same as the half marathon. Plus, you go out and back Sycamore Canyon Road, which is just a beautiful area. You're going to enjoy it. So on much of the run, you'll see the pink paint and the flags. And if you see those things, that is good. You'll be following a bicycle rider. Our lead bike rider is Kevin Dix. I believe that's Kevin up there, is it? Where's Kevin? Oh, there's Kevin over here. You'll be following Kevin. He's hiding on us. He's in the green shirt. We really hope you enjoy the beauty of the course. We hope you keep in mind the man that this run is named after. And we hope you finish in good health. When it, we get time, I will let you know when it's a minute. Then I'll let you know at a half minute. And then I will count down from 10. We are scheduled to take off right at 6 o'clock, which gives you about five minutes to stretch and warm up and think about your strategy for the run. Thank you. Thank you, Terrence Pratt. We are just about to get the full marathon underway. Remember, a marathon is 26.2 miles, and this is a Category 5 course. We've got uh, many returning runners. Uh, our best time last year was uh, the marathon was run by Gary Kroger in 2 hours, 56 minutes, and 30 seconds. So we'll see, with this being the second marathon, uh, how well it goes. When, uh, after the full marathon, we will take a break. There will be some getting ready, and then we'll kick off the half marathon, the 10K, and the two-miler. And everybody looks like they're ready to rock and roll. And finally, it's getting a little bit warmer out here. It was really about 46 degrees. Um, sun is officially up at this point, and it's going to be a great day in the Verde Valley, not only for the run, but for the people that came out here to enjoy it. We're going to take a look at some of the sights and sounds as the marathoners get ready to take off.
folks, we can start moving up to the start line, which is right here by this last orange cone. Again, we ask for the competitive runners to get up front. We're about two minutes out. Again, remember to hydrate. I'm sure I don't have to remind you, you're all seasoned runners. But it is important as you go along. I guarantee it will warm up. Hey folks, we are a minute before we start. One minute. Kevin Dix in the green shirt. I guess we'll have a motorcycle last part too. Follow the flashing light. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, go! And they're off, 70 runners on this second annual uh, full marathon, and it is right at 6 a.m. It's going to be a beautiful run today. We want to say thank you to the folks that helped bring this broadcast to you. Taylor Waste with Service Taylor to your needs. You can call them at 649-2662. Salt River Materials Group, their mission is creating opportunities with solutions, quality products, and exceptional people. Taco Bell. Lib Moss, Rice Accounting, Jackson Hewitt for your uh, year-round tax needs, and uh, Verde Valley Rewards, Red Rock Rewards, a good deal and a good deal more. We also want to send out a big thank you to Larry Green Collision Center at Larry Green Chevrolet. If uh, you need a tow truck, call JD the Tow Man, 300-3357, for allowing us to be atop this great truck today. When we come back, we will begin the half marathon, the 10K, the two-mile run. We'll be able to take a look at the course, meet some of our runners, and find out a little bit more about the people that have been involved with the Brian Mickelson Memorial Run. We'll be back shortly. <laughs> Our whole team is here to help you get the most out of each workout here at the Cottonwood Recreation Center.